Okay, let's open this box. Yeah, Sinclair. ZX Spectrum plus two. Power box. Sinclair. Obviously, I didn't realise this was uh, actually to do with Amstrad. Never really knew that. 128K. It's a powerful piece of equipment. The only problem you've got with the um, this model of the Spectrum is actually the fact that there's no counter on the tape deck, so if you're playing a compilation, compilation tape, you actually don't know where it is on the tape, so it takes a bit of guessing, really, a bit of a guessing game. But what we'll do is we'll load this up, and we'll show you how to load a cassette. Okay, so this is the reverse of the spectrum. That is where you put this the power connector, Mountain slot, not quite sure what that's for yet. Keypad, which if you look, apparently they connect with essentially phone connections. You have got RP, RGB, TV, and sound. Let me just grab my aerial. That plugs into there. And sound is if you have headphones or if you want to plug in any other sound capturing devices. Okay, now you'll see, and I've turned the actual plug on, so you've got the red light, so it has got power. Let's turn the TV on, if it work. Okay, so I've already tuned the uh, TV in. On most TVs, it's channel 36. Um, I haven't actually found out whether this has an on or off button, because it was on straight away. Um, I would assume that's how it's meant to be once you plug it in. Um, so now we've got that going. Let's just grab a tape and see if we can get this loaded. Okay, so what I've got here, is Gorilla War. Right, let's open that up. So you need to put it in that way, I believe. Yeah, yeah that's correct with the text up. In we go. Right, okay, so it's not going, it's not too wrong. That way it's. Sure that it's fully rewound, which this was not. So let's do that. Sometimes it takes a while. This. Don't know what that holds for. that's happening. The uh, mode you need to select is 48k basic. Don't ever use tape loader, never seems to work. Just go to that and you'll get this screen. You just say Amstrad down there and be blank. Okay, right hopefully this is done. Nearly. Okay, right, that's that done. Just press stop. So that's ready to go. So, right. So all you do, is you press J, which is the load button, which will then say load L. Next step, press that button. Twice. 
to huh. press enter. So now do that. It's a blank page. Press play. And then hopefully the game should run. Okay, so this is it loading. Horrible, horrible sound. Here we go, we've got pretty hardest loading in here. This might take a while, but let's see. The crazy thing about loading times nowadays is we look at the PS4 and all that by the games that almost load straight away, but we still moan. Um, on here, games took up to 5, 10, even 20 minutes. And we were okay with that. Oh, here we go, we've got action. It's a bit psychedelic, I'd say. There we go, so we've got the splash screen. We've now also, you can see down there, have an estimated time for loading. Can you see that? Two minutes. A lot of the time you'd actually have mini games here as well, just to keep the boredom away. But here we go. Okay, so we're still going. We're down to a countdown of 20 seconds. Now so far it's been around 5 minutes of loading. So hopefully this should be it. Ooh. Here we go. Now at this point, if I remember rightly, you can press the stop button. Nope, still loading. I do apologise for the video footage of the screen because it's not great. Let's try pressing stop, shall we? Because I'm pretty sure you can stop the play at this point. Or should we let it go? Let's let it run. There we go. Ooh. We loaded. We can press stop. Mm. 
And now we're ready to play. Let's configure my keys. We can go and see, it's that simple. It really is. And now I can enjoy. With a compilation game like this, the best thing to do is just look where the game's ended on the actual cassette itself. And then just remember, because obviously this doesn't have a counter, so you can't write that down. And just remember where that stopped. It's two notches long, that's really hardest. Next game being, can't remember, but that doesn't matter. And then all you have to do is to to get to play the next game is reset the system and load exactly how we've just done it. And then you're there, you're ready to play. Now I hope this has helped because I found this hard at first. Um, but you know, if you've never used one before, you're not going to know how to do it. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you have many, many years of playing on your console slash computer. Cheers, guys.